Are we live? Yeah, we are. We're always okay. live. Okay, sorry guys. We are super we're late here. to Cafecito Thursday. We're not that late, guys. We're not that late. But we're here. But we're here. Guys, today's Thursday Cafecito. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for being part of this. It's about me. Yeah. Come here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Come on, get closer to me. She doesn't want to get closer to me because, you know, she doesn't want to be next to this. Who wouldn't want to be next to this guy? It's just bad angles. Oh, it's oh, it's hanging out in the in the corner. What? <laughs> so, today's Thursday cafecito, guys. Thank you so much for joining us. We talk about partnerships, being in a partnership, uh, working together with someone, and what that means, right? What that means when you work with someone, uh, other than of course yourself, and and how does that help you? How does that hold you back? How? If you're working with a negative person, might as well work alone, okay? This is uh, just a shout out for all of you guys out there working with negative peeps. Shout out. Is that how you say it? Shout mm -hmm. out. If you're working with someone who's negative, you may not be wanting to partner with... You, you want to partner, just not with that person. Hey, how's it going? Hello. So, how do I do anything? <laughs> right? Right? I... Hey, sometimes we feel the same way. Yeah. Sometimes we feel the same way. Uh, you want to you you want to get yourself your mindset in a place where where you're positive and you start working with positive people and this requires a lot a lot of attention on your commitment and your your mental attitude. Mm -hmm. It's a lot. It's a lot of responsibility. Well, so, if the if the partner or the person you're working with doesn't want to get their mindset with the same frequency, it's going to make working together impossible. And eventually the pairing will just kind of not function anymore. Yeah. No, and, and it, it doesn't. It so doesn't. that's why it's so important to keep your, and like your mindset. Yeah. And it doesn't always dissolve guys. Cause many times people are like, Oh, it's going to dissolve by itself. No, sometimes it's just, you, you're just carrying dead weight around. You yeah. Know? Uh, your own dead weight and then someone else's dead weight. And it's just horrible. So you want to make sure that you work with someone who like, like, Lizette and I, Lizette and I have like hard days, you know, hard moments, but we don't, we, someone has to be like, we can't let this continue, you know? So either her or me, or sometimes both together, we're like, okay, we got to stop this. We got to, we got to not be in a negative state of mind mm -hmm. because then we can't continue. Right. Right. So one of the things that we, what we also learn is that those moments can also be you have to watch out how frequent they are because if they're frequent, even if they're small, if they're frequent, it's like going on on on, on taking off speed and then and then there's a road bump and then there's another road bump and there's right. another road bump right, and right. it just slows you down. It okay. doesn't let you take speed. So so uh, if you're working with a partner, anyone, anyone, uh, get yourself in that mind in that mind in that state of mind and and get him in that state of mind. Mm -hmm. You know. However, you can not by complaining. You will not get. You will not do anything by complaining. What do so, you think about that? Yeah, I mean, last Thursday we were talking about my, the importance of mindset in partnerships too. Yeah. And so I think that, like all things, that when we bring them up, it's because we're working on our own mindsets, on our own, on getting ourselves to constantly um, get up and work. And not have to get up and work and work through the mind junk that you create during yeah. the day, right? Yeah, that's uh, yeah. Because then you have then you have twice the amount of work. Yeah, because you're trying to keep yourself motivated, especially if you work for yourself. Right. Uh, you as an artist, you're working for yourself, so you you are your own motivator. Right. Because if you can't motivate yourself to do the work that's necessary, you're not gonna. Make the money necessary, right? right? Right. Whereas if we worked like a nine to five or whatever, we could probably have those bad days and not feel the impact, and therefore not the motivation to break out of it. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's not. It's not as necessary. Right. It's not as necessary. You could go. You could go probably weeks, maybe months, maybe even years, without your superior. You know, your superior, anyone, whoever your superior is, saying, "Dude, you got a, you got an issue." You know? Yeah. Hi, Chris. So, Ludia. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I don't even try I know I botch them. all the names. I don't even try reading them all like that. I'm sorry, guys. But <laughs> gotta keep it friendly. Gotta keep it... Not friendly. Gotta keep it simple. <laughs> like, mine... Mine is like, Jose Trujillo art. Now I look I back and I'm like... I'm good five foot eight. Yeah. 
That one's I'm easy. Gone. I like that one. Yeah, damn, damn, I'm good. Five feet eight. I like that. <laughs> um. So yeah. So I think that when you are working for yourself, especially you, do you find that as an artist? Um. Oh, that you. Question, yeah. Do you find that as an artist that um, if your mindset's not right, it creates stoppers for you to paint? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I mean, see, the whole thing, If guys, I'm grumpy, well, because we're talking about partnerships, right. do you find that if I'm grumpy, you're, like, uh, thinking about my grumpiness and not able to create? Yeah, totally, because now I'm thinking about, now now I'm I'm not, it's, it's, it's not that it's your fault. It's my fault. Right. Whether you... Here's another. Here's a little tip, guys. Whoever is upset around your studio, it's not their fault. It's your fault. Okay. If you if you don't if you don't if you don't uh, square it, it's it's always you will have a much happier, successful life if everything becomes your responsibility. Now it may not be your fault, but I say fault anyways. It becomes. It has to be You're your so responsibility. Much better than that. Huh? You're so much better at that than me. Yeah, it has to be I'm your like, responsibility. It's your fault. Yeah. <laughs> See, the, the reason why, guys, is because if it's Johnny's fault or if it's the set's fault, then I can't fix it. Well, and see... You know, it okay. has to be mine So in order for me to fix it. So you and I were listening to this talk with Brian Tracy, and this is what I really appreciated because I think what you're saying is something very interesting that ties into that, is that control over your environment, your money, your home your well-being control in itself creates that feeling of success when you don't have that control right and so i think that responsibility breeds control if you take responsibility for absolutely it. and so I... you have now you now have control of your workspace if right. it's you know if it's your responsibility if everything that happens in right. your studio in your surrounding is your fault you are now the boss. Right. I don't care if you are working for someone. If everything that happens around you is your fault, you have you have come from you have now raised your vibration level from being a victim, something that happens to you, people are hurting Absolutely. you, to becoming the boss. Right. It doesn't matter if you are not the boss, if you don't own the place, if you're if you're the guy sweeping the floor and everything that happens, you make it your responsibility. It doesn't mean that you that you uh, get emotionally invested. That's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about everything that happens is your responsibility. The trash uh, didn't come and pick up the you know the truck didn't come and pick up the trash. My responsibility. My fault. The 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 one of the people there are upset. Uh, my responsibility. Something didn't get shipped out. My responsibility. Right. I will make everything my responsibility. And then this way your vibration level picks up, and and you're able to get out of. Uh, negative mindsets automatically. Mm -hmm. Like on a, on a, on a, if if you want if you want to to learn how to get out of, I'm not telling you you're not gonna get negative. We all do, but if you want to jump out as soon as possible, mm -hmm. make it your responsibility. Right. And we have we have cases like that where I'm like, you know what? Is my she won't believe me if she's still if she's still upset with me. She'll be like, I know you. You're trying to become the responsible one. And I'm, like, <laughs> I'm not over it. Yeah, but <laughs> if I, and, and I do it too. I do it too. Sometimes she's like, you know what? Let's let's it's it's over. Let's you know. And I'm like, no, I don't want to be. I don't want to be over. <laughs> you know, I I still I'm still upset. And then I have to remind myself. Okay, I, it has to be my responsibility. So. There's a little tip today, guys. Make everything in your surrounding your responsibility. This is the hardest. This has been the hardest lesson for me to to learn. Probably one of the well, the, the top three lessons and, in my and life. And I think I think it was so helpful to tie in responsibility with a sense of control. Absolutely. Because, because you know when we feel out of control, we quit putting effort because we're everything stacked against us, right? And so I think that that's why it's so important to remind yourself of responsibility enabling you to have control over your space. Yeah. So it, you can get things done. See, a lot of people are like, oh, man, that person's a control freak. That's a person control. If you're, if you're, we say in Spanish, leaking oil, you know, because machines leak oil when they, when they break. If you're leaking oil for everything, it doesn't it doesn't mean that you are being responsible. It means that you're emotionally invested in everything. Right. If you're plugging the oil, if you're plugging 
If you're if you're if you're, if you're finding repairing, the solution, if right? you're repairing, if you're finding the solution, right. you have now become the responsible person. Right. You know, every time something breaks, you cry. You're not. You're not. You're like, oh my god, it's because I care about everything. That doesn't mean you care about everything. That means you. That means you give too much ish about everything, and you're emotionally breaking yourself and emotionally invested in everything. Mm-hmm. But if you find solutions to it, okay, that that has a solution. Let's fix it. That has a solution. Let's fix it. You have now become the boss. Right. And, and there can be more than one boss in the place, but it's usually, uh, uh, at the same time, it's usually one <laughs> occurring at the same time. It's usually one that, 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 that will raise that, that vibration level. And, uh, and con- you know, I, again, with the, those things of control, people seem to think, oh, man, I don't want to be a control freak. People think that I'm a control freak or, or you know, or I don't want to be, well, when will I get, you know, time to do other stuff and this and that. I'm not talking about being a again a an, an emotionally invested control freak. I'm talking about being a responsible person who controls the environment. So you just got asked if you dedicate a certain time of day for art. I do. I do. Mornings, early mornings. It's got to be uh my prime. I don't always hit it, but my prime, my uh what would it call it? what would it be my my utopian moments would be anywhere between five in the morning to about, I don't know, n- noon. And, 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 and I run sprints. I don't go from five to noon. I used to do that until recently I started learning how to, how to run sprints. Meaning you go and you hit it, you know, hard for 30 minutes and then you take a pause. You know, and then you hit it again for 30 minutes and then you take a pause. You take a little break, mm-hmm. a one minute break, two minute break, whatever that is. But but what you're what what I try to do is crunch in time. Mm-hmm. And I talked about that in other videos. But yeah, but yeah, that's what I do. Who else is? Uh, oh, OK. That's the same question. Right. Yeah. So, yeah. What, what do you think, babe? About what? About your time? No, about what I just said about control. You were not even listening. Huh? I had a brain. Fart. She was she was texting, guys. <laughs> I'm so sorry. No, no. Um, don't make it up. It's all right. Yeah, it's okay. I missed it. <laughs> she, she's <laughs> she's here and she missed it. But you know what? I take full responsibility for no, that. No, that was my bad. I take responsibility <laughs> for that one. <laughs> Whoops. So yeah, guys. Anyways, uh, let me tell you guys and tell her right now. <laughs> let me explain again. <laughs> Some people think that responsibility, that, that responsibility, uh, no, that control is something negative. Having control over something. Oh, yeah. You know? No, I I'm know. I'm not talking about an egoic control where you're screaming and yelling around and saying, I need that done. Uh, uh, uh. That's not control. That's just being neurotic and having uh, uh, the smallest cojones in the room. Well, and I think, too, like we confuse a lot of words because we get stuck in the word. Right. right. So, like, control. Like, you think of all the negative images you've seen over time of what control means right, right. or in like movies what control means or yeah, or loss you. of control yeah. or whatever um we're talking about and, like radio really, i want to have control and really and really i love that song and really we're just talking about responsiveness right and how that helps you feel like you can you can achieve it you can do it you can get it yeah, and, and because you're now well just think about taking it taking accountability just think about it, it okay your stuff yeah. Well, just, just think about it for Whether a second. Whether it's artwork or... Yeah. Yeah. Sorry. No, it's all right. It's all right. You're okay. <laughs> what? Because <laughs> you're looking at me so like... So there's a... Like, I got to talk. <laughs> so there's a... There's... You have, you have a... You have a... I don't know. Some... God forbid. Some accident, right? And you have to be rushed to the hospital, right? And you go in there. There's a security guard there outside... There's people, there's people on staff, blah, blah, blah. And everybody's like, ah. And then they get you to the, to the doctor, right? And yeah. the doctor's like, you do this, you do that, you do this, you do that. Right. Right? Right. Like, that's an example of someone who's in control because someone who knows what they're supposed to be doing. Right. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, you know, I know, I know it's a simple, I know it's a simple explanation. Kind no, of, it know. makes total sense because I was listening to this, um... To what? You're, you're slow today. Dude. I know. Get, drink some coffee. I am. I was listening. I was trying to remember who I heard it from, but when people say, I'll try, right? Because this is what we're talking about, control and things that we work out. And and so 
the example you're giving about control is actually quite necessary because if we went, like when we go to a professional, if the professional told us, I'll try to do good on the surgery. Yeah, I'm they're not do. in control. Well, we wouldn't go to that doctor. Well, yeah. Right? Because they would be like, well, I'll try to fix your heart. And you would be like, try. Like, yeah. you're the professional. Or someone wants a commission and I'll be like, I'll try to make you I'll happy. I'll try to make it. I'll try <laughs> to make it. Right? Um, and so I think that that's the importance of feeling like you have control is oh. the capability. Right. But I think we get stuck in the words. Because cont- control has so many negative... Well, it's been uh, used that way, but it's not. You know, if if, right. if something's going, if something's going on, if there's a danger or something, I I want to be in control of the situation, or I want to be next to the person who's in control. Right. You know. And if there's a massive success in life, I want to be like, oh, I had control over that, and I was able to make it happen. Right. Because you want to be able to replicate it. Right. You have control over something, you replicate it, or or you have complete charge of it. Right. 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 And it's meant. It's uh, a lot of the times people are like, oh, this is negative. I don't want to. You know, I don't want to have control. I don't want. I want. It, you're right because we get stuck in the words. It, what we're saying when we say we don't want to have control is we don't want to have con- egoic control. Over it. Right. But not practical. You want to have practical control. I want the doctor to operate me if, if that's not, you know, if that's what needs to happen. I don't want the janitor to be like, let's see what we can do here. Right. And I want the person in charge, the person in control. Right. You know, so. Right. We, we, we mix it up with thinking about the, the egoic, you know, idea of that. And I'm making an emphasis because many words have that double thing happening that duality I yeah guess. like when we were talking about expectation expectation is another one of those expectations words. another word like it can be a it can be a negative in the sense that i expect it to look like this it's an egoic expectation it needs to match my mind mm-hmm. that's, a, that's or, an egoic expectation or an expectation of of or it could be a positive one right? i'm sorry could, or you could look at it from the not that not from that usage but the other one in that expectation of things work out Things work out for me. I see opportunities. I'm able to create, have an expectation of excellence for yourself without getting stuck on, you know. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You could be like, you could be like, dude, I'm we're getting, to- we're getting so many laughs. Yeah. We must be funny this morning. I'm funny this morning. <laughs> so yeah, you could have like, you could be like, dude, I, I want to get this artwork done. Right. I want to get this paintings done or whatever this painting. And you can have the expectation of it has to be that yellow. Yeah. It has to be that yellow. And then by that time, you know, you're crazy, dude. No, don't do that to yourself. Right. Or it could be like, it's going to be great Hello. regardless of what colors I use. Right. It's going to be a great painting. That's a good expectation to have. Yeah. I think you know? so. Yeah. Without getting stuck and, and creating a stopper. Right. Right. Because then we have those right. expectations. Pretty good, pretty good. How about yourself? <laughs> like that. I like when they ask questions like yeah. that. Like, how are so what you? What kind of questions do you guys have? Because I feel like what? Well, no, I would like to hear from them about what what's important to them when they're working. Go, go ask. Go ask. All right. You and I keep talking, baby. I like it. You and I have a thing happening right now. We have a thing happening all the time. I like that. See? <laughs> See? One of, one of the very first things you learn, guys, when you get married is that you are not in control. Oh, <laughs> silly. You have, to, you have to learn that. You have to learn that. You have to be like, who's in control here? Who's in control here? Her beautiness is like... Don't even listen. It's fine. So, yeah, guys. Uh, we wanted to just, you know, just talk about that today. About the importance of being controlled, the importance in a partnership, the importance of being of being the person who is responsible for everything, the the the, the person who's uh, uh, responsible for. Dude, I like that. I'm from Sri Lanka. Yeah. Yeah. Do you Sri show Lanka. your art at shops, and if so, do you have advice on how to approach a shop? I do. I do, and for that, we do uh, uh, Tuesdays. Mar- yeah, art market- marketing. Art marketing Tuesdays. Today we're focusing on 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 working with a, on a partnership and whatnot. Uh, uh, I'll get back. I'll get back to you on on that question. Uh, Hi, D- DM me, please. DM me with that question again or a form of that question. I'll get back to you or just just remind me real quick and I'll get back to you on that because I do art marketing Tuesdays for 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 to answer questions on marketing and how to how to approach galleries and stuff like that. Today we're talking about partnership. I brought my wife in today because because we work together and we're we're always looking to see how we can how we can better our our environment here. 
Uh, how do I do that? I'm very technologically challenged. Ah, uh, I don't know. Totally. Oh, oh how do they welcome. DM you? Um, you just, uh, there's a little arrow under the picture. Like, get one of his pictures and, and then you pick to send a message. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there's volume? <laughs> yeah, that's awesome. Yeah. It feels good when we discover stuff. Yeah, I remember yeah. when I was like, there's Facebook, there's, uh, there's Instagram Live. I'm doing a video. I have no idea how to do Instagram yes, Live. Yes, I'm his wife. Yeah. We work together. I don't paint, though. No, no, she helps me with uh, uh, clients and packaging and, and stuff like that. No, you're that? good. Okay. You're good. Um, Some uh, canvases back here. Bam. Whoops. <laughs> <laughs> okay, keep talking. Keep going. Yeah, I just, I, just, I just dropped a bunch of canvases because I was, like, trying to show off, but I had some canvases back here. <laughs> See, that's what happens when you're not in control. <laughs> you got to be in control, guys. That was funny. Yeah. That made, like... A large bud. It sure did. So yeah, guys, anything that happens in your environment, uh, you want to learn to to be responsible, become responsible for it. Tell yourself this, okay? This is one of the things that I tell myself constantly. I fail constantly, but I try constantly. I'm always, I'm always doing it. Yeah. I'm always doing it. I'm always telling myself, look, I don't care what's happening here. I'm responsible. Oh, thank you. Thank you. I don't care what's happening here. Something goes wrong here. I'm not going to blame her. I'll blame her for a little bit. I'll be like, <laughs> and, then I'll, and then I have to be like, oh, 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 I'm messing up. I'm messing up. Who's responsible here? Who's in charge? I am. I am. Raise your level. Raise your level. You're, you're, you're the one. And not your shouting level or your, or your anger level. You have to raise your awareness. Who's responsible here? I am responsible. Deborah, yes. He does not have another job. We just work. Yeah, it's just, we just do a... Artwork. That's yeah, all. so he's a, a he paints and I package and ship out all the orders. Yeah, she likes hanging out with me. She's, yeah, she's, she's got a sales job and she's like, she's like, dude, I'm ready, I'm ready to go hang out with this good looking guy all the time. So we're busy all the time. We work a lot. Yeah. Um. Yeah, they have a lot of questions about work. We should talk about that. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Go. What? What questions about what? About uh, what we do. Oh, well, yeah. We well, we've been married for some time now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm you not drunk, remember? guys. I'm not you drunk. Don't I guess how long we've been married. <laughs> <laughs> you don't remember? I We're do. So I do. not on point. I this, do. This is not YouTube worthy. <laughs> <laughs> So we've been married for 10 years. Um, I knew there was a decade somewhere in there. Yes, we've been married for 10 years. Um, and <laughs> we've had, he's been working as a full-time artist for six. Yeah, for the past six years. Yeah, for the past six years. Yeah. And she's, uh, she was my ride or die. She's been my ride or die. She's like, dude, what are you doing? You're doing artwork? And you know how people say that, that having an art life is very difficult and, and tell them about having an art life. How, work, be living with, with a struggling artist. Do you live with a struggling artist? No. I make some cake, huh? Yeah, I don't live with a I Well, in the beginning, it was like... Yeah, but I wasn't working as an artist. I just had an idea that I was an artist. Yeah, and you had a job. I had a job. Yeah. So, but I just had an idea that I was an artist. I was like, I'm an artist, man. But I never really Yeah, no, out. I think, and you and I have done um, talks on this too. I think it's so important to, and this goes back to feeling the control uh, conversation we were having about needing to control your environment and control your work is that um, you want to be able to control your income as it comes in because we have a family. And so we right. have responsibilities and things that we need yeah, to Yeah, all sorts of things towards. all sorts of things start start popping in when when you're talking about control you know you have kids you have a wife you have a husband i don't know a partner uh you you start realizing that someone has to be in control there's a ship mm -hmm. there's a ship happening and someone has to be in control there will be in a ship there will be things happening you know there there's not sufficient you know resources uh 
the ship is taking too long. You know, the trip is taking too long. Who's in control? Someone right. will lose their mind. Right. Many people will lose their mind. Whoever's on the ship, they're going to start losing their mind. They're going to start having hallucinations. Oh, man, I need some water, not that ocean water. You know, you know what I mean? Right. So someone's going to be start. you know, whether it's you, the, the captain cannot lose his or her mind. If you're the captain, if you are steering the ship and you lose your mind, because this is one of the things that I've learned. She can lose her mind. It's okay. I, I'd rather not. I hope not. <laughs> I promise I won't lose my mind. But it's okay. As long as I don't lose my mind. If you are the person in the room, this is one of the things that I learned from one of my mentors. If you're the person in the, in the room, if, if, if you're the only person in the room that does not lose your ish, you are the captain. Well, oh, guys, this is the end of our talk. It was a short one, but remember, control breeds uh, success. Okay. It allows you to feel like you're being successful and adding to your capabilities. It's okay. It's okay. Thank you, guys. We'll see you tomorrow. Thank you so much. Take care, guys. At noon. Bye-bye. Bye -bye. Now, I don't understand what he's doing. Just start working.